Hi everyone. Welcome to our English shadowing practice video. Today, we're going to practice a conversation on morning routines. Before we dive in, we want to hear from you. In the comments below, let us know about your morning routines and activities. Now, let's get started with our conversation practice. Hi, my name is Alex. What's your name? Hi, Alex. My name is Sarah. Nice to meet you. Let's talk about our morning routines. What time do you usually wake up? I usually wake up at 6.30 a.m. I find that getting up early gives me a head start on the day. I like to have a bit of quiet time before everything gets busy. How about you? I wake up around 7 a.m. I start my day with a cup of coffee. Do you prefer coffee or tea in the morning? I prefer tea. I feel like it gives me a gentle start to the day. I usually have green tea because it's light and refreshing. My morning routine includes a quick workout and then a healthy breakfast. Do you have any morning exercise routine? Yes, I do. I usually go for a 20-minute run or do some yoga. It really helps to wake me up and get my blood flowing. What kind of breakfast do you usually have? For breakfast, I usually have a smoothie with spinach, banana, and some protein powder. Or I have oatmeal with fruits and nuts. It gives me the energy I need to get through the morning. What's your favorite breakfast food? I love having avocado toast with a poached egg on top. It's both tasty and nutritious. Sometimes, I add some smoked salmon and if I want something extra. Do you read the news in the morning? Yes, I always spend about 15 minutes catching up on the news. I usually read it on my phone while having breakfast. It helps me stay informed about what's happening around the world. Do you have any specific habits you follow every morning? Yes, I always spend a few minutes meditating. It helps me start the day with a clear mind and reduces stress. After meditation, I plan out my day in a journal. Do you do any planning in the morning? Definitely. I like to make a to-do list for the day. It keeps me organized and ensures I don't forget any important tasks. I usually set three main goals to achieve by the end of the day. How do you prioritize your tasks? I prioritize my tasks based on deadlines and importance. I start with the most urgent tasks and then move on to the ones that are important but not urgent. This way, I can manage my time effectively. Do you listen to music or podcasts in the morning? Yes, I often listen to a motivational podcast while getting ready. It gives me a positive boost and sometimes offers great tips for personal development. Do you have any favorite podcasts or music you listen to in the morning? I enjoy listening to calm and uplifting music, something like acoustic or classical. It sets a peaceful tone for the day. As for podcasts, I like listening to the Daily 4 News and how I built this for inspiring stories. Do you ever find it hard to stick to your morning routine? Occasionally, especially if I've had a late night or if I'm feeling particularly tired. But I find that sticking to my routine as much as possible really helps me stay on track. What do you do if your morning doesn't go as planned? If my morning doesn't go as planned, I try to stay flexible. I focus on what's most important and try to catch up on other tasks later in the day. 
It's important not to stress too much about it. How do you stay motivated to keep a consistent morning routine? I remind myself of the benefits, like how much more productive and positive I feel when I follow my routine. Sometimes, setting small rewards for myself helps too. Do you have any tips for someone trying to establish a morning routine? Yes, start with small changes and gradually build up your routine. It's important to be consistent and patient. Also, find what works best for you and makes you feel good. What's the most rewarding part of your morning routine? The most rewarding part is the sense of accomplishment and readiness I feel once I'm done. It sets a positive tone for the rest of the day and helps me stay focused and productive. Do you ever change your morning routine on weekends or holidays? Yes, on weekends, I like to sleep in a bit longer and have a more relaxed morning. I often make a special breakfast, like pancakes or waffles, and take my time enjoying it. How about you? I also enjoy a slower start on weekends. I might spend extra time reading or watching a show I like. It's nice to have a break from the usual weekday routine. Do you ever try new activities or habits in your morning routine? Absolutely. I like to experiment with different types of exercise or meditation techniques. Sometimes, I try new breakfast recipes too. It's fun to mix things up and see what works best for me. Have you tried anything new recently? Yes, I've started adding a short walk in the park to my routine. It really helps me feel more connected to nature and starts my day on a positive note. Do you have any advice for someone looking to improve their morning routine? My advice would be to start with small changes and be consistent. Find activities that make you feel good and gradually build your routine around them. It's important to be patient and give yourself time to adjust. So, that is the end of our discussion on morning routines. It was great talking about our morning routines. Remember, consistency is key to a good morning routine. Thank you for practicing with us today. We hope you found this exercise helpful. Don't forget to leave a comment about your own morning routines. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more English practice videos. See you next time. Bye for now.